Hey guys, it's Kelly and Brendan. And today we are starting the second day of the 75 hard challenge. We kind of came to the conclusion last night that Brendan's not gonna be able to really do the full challenge, but he's gonna work out once a day for 45 minutes just so that way it keeps me accountable because like I can clearly do it because I don't have anything else to do. It's not like I'm on like a ship all day. But today is the second day of the challenge and it is currently 5.23. I feel like I slept really well last night. How did you sleep? Yeah, I slept pretty good. Um, yeah, and I feel like refreshed, so. Brendan wakes up at this time every day. He, well, since it's like 4.30, but I don't, so. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of you. I didn't know you were awake this morning. I was awake this whole time. I just went back and laid in bed until like 4.50. But now I'm ready. The day is going. I wanna have a little bit of fruit because I need some like natural energy. So yeah, but I'm gonna go to the gym after I drop off Brendan at work. I'm gonna do my 45 minute workout and then I'm gonna come home and probably read my 10 pages because I don't wanna shower before my walk. But yeah, so. We'll keep you guys updated during the day. But I just wanted to intro this video and tell you guys how I was feeling. Yesterday went very well. I honestly like feel like this challenge is gonna make me not only feel better but also sleep better because I, I have a lot of issues falling asleep and like I was able to fall asleep before 12 last night. And hopefully it will also make me, like I wanna get like eight hours of sleep every night so. Hopefully waking up at like 4.30, 4.45 will cause us to go to sleep earlier. Because it was a problem when like Brendan would wake up then and I would wake up at like 11 a.m. So yeah, we're going to figure that out. But yeah, I'm going to go eat some breakfast and I will, get, I, will, I will guys see you soon. I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, I just got back from the gym. Okay, we're not gonna lie about that. I got back from the gym an hour ago and I was just watching YouTube videos, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about my workout and just how many calories I burned and also just like exactly what I did. I'm not really focusing on exactly how many calories I'm burning just because it doesn't really matter, but I just wanna tell you guys so that way you have like a idea of how many calories I burn from this workout that I'm telling you. If you can't tell, I am drained right now. I don't know why, so yeah. Well, actually I do know why. My workout was very intense and my whole body is so sore. But I'm gonna tell you my workout. I accidentally messed up and I stopped my workout after like 10 minutes so i had to like restart another workout and i went a little bit over just because of that but the first workout was 11 minutes and i burned 150 calories total 124 active calories the second part of my workout i did 38 minutes i burned 394 active calories and 481 total calories so not a bad workout i did legs today I'm gonna tell you my workout. Again, I said I said yesterday I wanted to start writing out my workouts and I did that today, so I'm pretty good about that. What I did at the gym, I first started with 10 minutes on the treadmill. I did like just walking. It was like incline of two and a half and I was walking at like 3.0 and then for the last minute I actually ran at a 6.5 and I wasn't dead. <laughs> That's the first time. I've ever been able to run a minute without like actually dying. I'm not a runner. There's no way that I will ever be. I don't want to say ever because like what if I do like running? I would want, I would love to love running, but like my body just doesn't function. I swear it's like my family's genes. Like I, I we just can't run. Like <laughs> I don't know. I think it's because my legs are also super short and they're also like I don't know, I have a lot of like muscle in my legs, so it feels like weird to run. But that one minute, like I didn't feel like super, I don't know, I don't know the word. I wasn't like super exhausted, so that was pretty good. And then I went to do abs 
and I did the same workout as yesterday, but if you didn't watch that video, I'm gonna tell you guys. I did 25 oblique crunches, 25 brush and twists, 25 leg lifts, 25 light side leg lifts, 25 reverse crunches, 25 penguins, 25 toe touches, 25 crunches, and 25 sit-ups. If you watched my video yesterday, I was talking about how the sit-ups were really hard for me, and today I was actually able to do it a lot faster, so I don't know if it's like whenever I'm working out by myself, I feel like I'm able to like do things faster because like I don't want like other people in the gym to like judge me for like taking a rest after like five sit-ups, but I did it very fast. I was proud of myself, so that's all that matters. And then I did legs. I first started with like doing some quad and leg warm-ups with my resistance band. I have a hip circle actually because I haven't been able to find a latex free <laughs> resistance band and I'm allergic to latex so yeah but um so it's very hard to even really move your legs with the hip circle so yeah my legs are killed but I did some like kickbacks and some side leg lifts standing up and just like stuff to like activate my glutes and stuff. And then I did 25 calf raises, 25 hip thrusts, and at the top I like spread my legs. And this is also on the ground. I don't do, I'm not doing major weights just because I'm not at that point yet. 25 clamshells, 25 donkey kicks, 25 fire hydrants, 25 squats. Also the donkey kicks, clamshells, fire hydrants are all like on both sides, like 25 on my right leg, 25 on my left. So then after I completed all of that, I think I was at like 30 or 28 minutes on like my second workout and I was like, I don't know what to do. So I went and went on to the treadmill for 10 minutes and just walked again at like a three point. Oh, I didn't do any incline because my legs were so toast. But yeah, this was a really good workout for today, so. Yeah, I might leave it in the link or in the description down below just in case you are interested in what it actually is. I'm not, again, a professional, so take it as a grain of salt. But now I'm going to make a little snack because I'm starving. And then I'm going to read my 10 pages and then I'm going to go on my walk. It is cold outside and I really don't want to, but it's the second day. I'm not going to mess up today. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna read and eat my snack and then I'm just gonna go. I'm probably not gonna update you guys before I leave. I definitely hit a little bump in the road today. I'm just like super exhausted for some reason. Well, I know why I woke up at 4.30 when I'm normally not used to that. So I took an hour and a half nap <laughs> at like 10 to 11.30. It's now 11.58 and I am getting ready to go. One like bad thing about these walks every day is I have to drive somewhere because I don't feel safe walking by myself where I live. So we're gonna go back to Coronado Bridge just be or not Coronado Bridge, Coronado's Dog Beach just because I feel like it will be a nice preview. Same thing I'm used to, so I'm not like gonna freak out or be like overwhelmed. But yeah, I am super drained. So I just got back from my walk. Okay, I got back 30 minutes ago. But I took a quick body shower. I washed off Cooper because he had sand all over him from the beach. And yeah, so I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my activity. I also have my lunch here. It's a big one because I realized I didn't really eat much today. I just had... Um, like, Cooper is shaking, sorry, he wants my food. Um, I just had like fruit and I had salami for protein, but nothing too substantial. I don't think I've had a single carb other than like the car the small amount of carbs that are in fruit. But um, I just wanna tell you about my walk. I did two and a half miles. I, um, it was, I went over because I did like, I went onto the beach for the last 10 minutes and then I just like wanted to walk on the beach. So I did 57 minutes and I burned 343 active calories, but a total of 473. 
so that means that for my activity today oh so that means that for my entire day and it's only two o'clock i burned that many calories that's a lot and i only like my goal is like 660 active calories and i burned over a thousand and yeah so i need this big bowl because I might die. I'm at over 11,000 steps. I am so sorry my dog keeps crashing himself. But I'm pretty much done the challenge for today. I only have like 12 ounces of water left and I'm probably gonna drink that while I'm eating. So I'm just gonna like wrap up this video here. So for today, it was honestly a pretty good day. I feel like I was able to complete this challenge today. Obviously it's the second day but I am very sore today, so I feel like that's kind of saying something. One thing that I would definitely suggest if you're planning on trying the 75 day challenge is to get a foam roller and to get like a yoga mat. In the mornings from now on, I'm gonna do like 10 minutes of stretching as soon as I wake up and also foam roll every night slash like whenever I'm feeling super sore. But I definitely wanna foam roll at least once a day just so that way my body isn't like super fatigued and my muscles are able to like not tense up too much. I'm going to end this video right here because I don't really have any more else to say today and I'm going to vlog tomorrow so I might as well give myself a little break in between. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.